Ben Martinuk was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at a very young age. He's a blessing to his family and friends and is a former Easter Seals ambassador. Ben uh, was born um, 13 weeks early, uh, much to our surprise. We certainly were not prepared uh, to have Ben born in May. He was due in August. Uh, and that began a six and a half month journey. We spent uh, three months at SickKids uh, and we had, or three and a half months, sorry, three and a half months in London and then three months at Sick Kids. So he was born on May 24th and was air ambulanced out uh, in the early morning hours of May 25th and came home in December. So we had six and a half months we were out of town with Ben at different medical facilities. We knew with Ben's early arrival that there was, um, and just some of the things that happened to him during the course of his hospital stay, that there was a very good likelihood that Ben was gonna have some complications from being born so premature. You know, when you have other family members uh, that are around the same age, and their kids are running and they're playing hockey and they're becoming independent and able to live on their own. Um, and you are still dealing with a toddler in some ways. You know, we can't leave Ben alone. Um, we're lucky that Ben can entertain himself um, and, and he's willing to try new things. Like we, he's, Ben's done horseback riding and he loves to go swimming. <clears throat> um, and just recently he's been doing the adaptive skiing up at Search Mountain and he absolutely loves that because it's fast and it's something he can do without us having to be with him by, the, by his side all of the time. When you, when you have a small child or, or when you're pregnant, you have all these hopes and dreams of, you know, your child's going to grow up and they're going to university and they're going to get married. So you have all these hopes and dreams. Um, and then when you have a special needs child, your hopes and dreams change because that may not be the reality of, of what your child's going to be like. For I mean, some children, it's um, even being able to go out into the community um, and being able to participate. Uh, ben, uh, he's a joy to be around. He's a little bit more work than most kids, but uh, he can certainly bring you back down to earth. And uh, uh, if you think you've had a bad day, you just look at him and he just turns it around for you. Nothing phases him. Uh, he's very happy with the simplest things in life. Uh, hamburger, french fries, uh, his iPad, and you know, he makes the most out of life. Yeah, we've, uh, we customized this house with the help of a builder for uh, specifically for Ben, and uh, in his bathroom we have a ceiling lift that gets him into the tub. In his bedroom we have a, a lift that gets him uh, uh, from his wheelchair into his bed. We also have a, a hospital change table that we can uh, change him on that elevates, and uh, the highlight of the house is uh, uh, we have a basement here and we have an elevating platform left that takes him from this level to the basement. So he's 17, he still has a few friends that visits and as an older teenager he likes his privacy. So they go downstairs and he gets downstairs in his walker uh, via that lift and they do what teenage boys do. About 10 years ago Ben was diagnosed as, uh, um, well he was nonverbal, but his pediatrician identified that he would be able to speak with a voice output communication aid. I didn't know what that was, but uh, they set us up with a clinic in Sudbury, as well as here, a Children's Treatment Center and Children's Rehabilitation Center. And it's uh, called a voice output communication aid. It's a Vantage Light. Uh, this has been about his third different device, but it has vocabulary in there for uh, Ben, you know, toilet, drinks. Uh, we can download pictures of classmates, but he negotiates this thing. We probably have 2,000 words in here and he knows better where the words are than we do it. It probably has a memory of about 15,000 words, but this is how Ben communicates what he wants. Stan and Jane Martinuk encourage everyone to donate to Easter Seals and support a great cause. Well, I think it's important to donate to Easter Seals. Uh, there's many families like ours that, uh, you know, uh, leasing this device in particular is $800 a year. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of costs associated with disabled children and uh, uh, Rotary, the Rotary Club of Sault Ste. Marie, as well as Easter Seals, helps defray some of these costs and make life easier and more tolerable for uh, families that choose to raise kids like Ben at home. When you come home from work after a really bad day, you look at Ben and, and it puts things into perspective sometimes. There's times you feel sorry for yourself. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's, there's sometimes it's why me? But then when you see Ben's personality <clears throat> and he makes you laugh, um, it's, it just puts things into perspective. Oh, Ben, I think Ben uh, just, uh, 
enhances other people's life just through his, his jovial spirit. His, uh, it's contagious. He's just happy all the time. He, he, even when he has a bad day, he wants to smile and make people laugh. And it's just infectious and it just rubs off and people just love him. The Easter Seals Telethon is Sunday, March 29th from 12 noon to 7 o'clock p.m. live right here on Shaw TV. For Go Sault Ste. Marie, I'm David Carlasio.